Park Campground in Marquette will be turned into Camp Cannabis, the Upper Peninsula's first open marijuana consumption festival. WZMQ Scott Minshaw has ways organizers and law enforcement are working to keep the event and you safe during the festivities. On October 7th and 8th, thousands will come right here to Taurus Park Campground in Marquette, Michigan to attend Camp Cannabis, the first open marijuana consumption event in the Upper Peninsula. As always with large events like this one, safety is a top priority for organizers. So we're putting together a uh, licensed marijuana consumption event in the city of Marquette. For law enforcement, one of the most difficult parts of keeping an event like Camp Cannabis safe is ensuring people are safely able to operate motor vehicles when leaving. While there are physical tests in place that officers can use to determine a person's ability to drive, a lack of technology and state regulations make it difficult to judge a person's level of intoxication while on marijuana. There is no level yet. So basically what we're going on is the way the person does these uh, specific tests, standard field sobriety tests. The standard field sobriety test is the same one performed on someone who is suspected of driving under the influence of alcohol. Currently, Michigan doesn't have any regulations on levels of intoxication for marijuana like it does with alcohol. Discretion is left to the officer on the scene to decide if a person suspected of being under the influence of marijuana is capable of operating a motor vehicle. In addition to maintaining safety on the roadways around the festival, law enforcement in the community and festival organizers had some tips on how those who will be consuming cannabis products can stay safe. Just be careful, you know. Be um, aware of what you're smoking or using. Yeah, so no outside cannabis will be allowed, and that, that's a big thing. Again, from a safety standpoint and compliance standpoint, a big thing for us is we only we only sell and uh, distribute product that has been gone has gone through the state regulatory framework, and so everything's been tested and, and transported and and brought to the event uh, in a secure fashion, so people can depend on the product and make sure that it's safe and reliable. The festival will have a medical tent with trained staff as well as mental health professionals on location to assist any festival goers who might need them. As well, the fire station has contracted a private security firm from Wisconsin to ensure a safe and fun weekend. Links to purchase tickets for the festival can be found on WZMQ's website. Scott Mitchell, WZMQ 19 News, Taurus Park Campground. New tonight.